Hello everyone, welcome to Encryption, the tech tips and tutorial channel. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to install the latest version of macOS in your Windows machine that is on VMware Workstation with all the other required tools. Let me give you an overview of what we are going to do in this video. Unlock VMware Workstation to get macOS installation option. Create a virtual machine, prepare hard disk to install the macOS, begin the installation process, completing the installation, and installing VMware tools for macOS full screen mode. So let's begin. Here in this folder, I have all the required tools. The ISO image file of macOS Catalina. At the time of recording this video, the latest version of macOS is Catalina, which is a macOS 10.15 the VMware Unlocker for Mac and then the VMware tools to get the Mac full screen after installing it. First of all, I'm gonna launch the VMware Workstation 15.5 and show you what happens before unlocking it. Note that you need at least VMware Workstation 15.5 for this particular version of Mac OS. Here click on create a new virtual machine, leaving the typical selected Click on next. Again, just click on next. Here you are asked which guest operating system you want to install. And we can see uh, Microsoft Windows, Linux, VMware ESX and others, but not the Mac OS. Even if you select other and check the list, you won't get any version of Mac OS. So you need to unlock the VMware to get Apple Mac OS in the list. Then only you can install it. So let's close this window and uh, close the VMware. Let's go to the essential software folder in my computer. To extract it, right click and click on extract to MK Unlocker. I'll give you the link uh, for all these tools in the description. So find it from there. Now here as you can see uh, win-install.cmd and win-uninstall.cmd. Now we are gonna install the unlocker. So right click on the win-install.cmd and click on run as administrator. It will open the command line window and do all the required things itself. After it completes, it disappears itself. Now let's launch the VMware workstation again and create a new virtual machine just as we did before. But this time let's browse and locate the macOS ISO image file. Here as you can see Apple Mac OS X in the list. Selecting the type of OS as Apple Mac OS and the version is Mac OS 10.15 because this Mac OS ISO image file is of 10.15 version. But if you want to install the updated version, you should select the upper versions. Now let's give the virtual machine name as uh, Mac OS Catalina. Then I click on browse. Here I'm going to create a new folder and store the disks and VM files inside it. The recommended size to install the Mac OS is 40 GB and it's already fixed to 40 GB. So I'm not going to modify it. Then I want to store virtual disk as a single file. So I click on it. By default, two gigabyte RAM is allocated for this VM, but for faster installation process, I'm gonna increase it to four GB. Now the virtual machine is created and we are ready to go for the installation. Click on power on this virtual machine. As you can see the Apple logo, it may take some time to get to the next step. So I fast forward the video. If you want to run the OS on your language, search for it 
on the list and click on that otherwise english is okay then click on this right arrow key now we have to prepare the disk before installing it so be careful and don't click on install mac os now rather click on uh, disk utility and click on continue here currently selected disk does not have the enough free space and this isn't the disk on which we should install the os instead it's a vmware virtual sata hard drive media and as you can see it's 42.96 gb all the way allocated 40 gb it happens don't worry about this click on erase to format the virtual disk you can give the disk name as per your choice i'm just gonna give it my mac it's nothing but the hard disk name and then click on erase after it's ready click on done now you can close this window now we are ready to begin the installation so click on install mac os and click on continue click on this right arrow key to continue again click on this right arrow key to agree click on agree click on the hard disk icon and click on install now it takes a bit time so i fast forward the video okay it's rebooting now and installing the required packages again as you can see it's gonna take about 13 minutes so i'm gonna pause the video and uh, i will be back when it's about to complete okay as you can see less than a minute is remaining so let's wait for that too okay now it's time to select your country i scroll down and find my country here it is i click on it and click on continue again we need to click on this right arrow key a couple of times if you have an apple id you can just enter it and continue or you can just click on set up later to skip agree the terms and conditions here give your full name create a strong password and retype it to verify you can enter hint uh, if you want but it's optional and click on continue now again click on this right arrow key a couple of times to move further Okay, now it's time to choose the uh, look among light, drag and auto. I like the default selected one. Uh, so I just click on continue. Now it's setting up Mac for you. You can just close this feedback assistant. And as you can see, the Mac is ready for you in your Windows 10 inside the VMware workstation. If you click on this Apple logo icon, and click on about this Mac. You can see the Mac OS person and other hardware specifications. Now, uh, even if we are in the VMware full screen mode, the Mac OS is not in full screen mode. Just to test, I minimize it, then click on view and click on full screen. It's again back to the full screen mode. But still, we can see the Mac OS is uh, not the full screen. So let's work to get it uh, full screen. Here on this Mac OS desktop, uh, we can see install Mac OS Catalina. That's the ISO image file that we used to install this uh, Mac OS. It's mounted on my CD DVD drive. So I'm gonna eject this. So for that, right click and click on eject install Mac OS Catalina. Then right click on this virtual machine, click on settings. 
here click on CD DVD SATA click on browse here I have the BM tool ISO image file just click on it and click on open make sure uh, connected check box is checked then click on ok now here uh, you can see one pop-up VMware tools double click on install VMware tools click on continue again click on continue and click on install click on continue installation give your Mac OS login password and click on install software it may take some time so I just fast forward the video we are getting another pop-up system extension blocked just click on open security preferences here click on this lock icon give your Mac OS login password and click on unlock then click on allow now click on ok and close this window again I fast forward the video now as you can see the installation was successful now click on restart wait for the Mac OS to boot now as you can see the Mac OS is in full screen mode just enter your password to login ok now we have the full screen mode of the Mac OS if you see this prompt for VMware tools just close the window and then eject this so for that right click and click on eject VMware tools now from next boot on you will not get this now your Mac OS is ready to rock I just click on this finder and click on applications here we can see the Mac applications just clicking on the browser Safari it's open and here I type google.com and the Mac OS has the internet connectivity as well for the external world okay friends this is how we can run Mac OS in Windows 10 machine as a virtual machine using VMware workstation I hope the video was useful to you please subscribe my youtube channel and hit the bell icon to get more useful videos like this thanks for watching see you in the next videos until then have a nice time goodbye